see we're kind of tight on closet space and it's very dark in there. Very neat. Have, yes, thanks. <laughs> um, we're in desperate need of some closet lights in here just okay. to kind of brighten it up and right. we're looking for some solutions to remedy that. I can do that. What about your closet? You have the same problem? Oh, I do. Let me right. show you. Let's see. So this is the master bedroom right through here and this is my closet. Oh, great. So mine's a little bit larger yeah, than the I'll guest see. room, yep. <laughs> and we're experiencing the same problem in here as the other closet where there's no closet light. Right. So we're looking to kind of remedy that too. So you got two doors. You can access it from both sides. Yep. Yeah, I have something that'll work for both closets. Oh, great. Let me show you what I brought. Okay. Great. Here's what I'm going to install. Okay. These two fixtures. Now, I have a two-foot fixture for your husband's closet in the other room. Okay. And for your closet here, I have a three-foot fixture, which are both fluorescent. Okay. Now, I've seen you use LED bulbs in other installations. Why wouldn't you do that in this scenario? It's cost. The LED fixtures right now, they're still fairly expensive. And albeit they're really energy efficient, for the short amount of time that these fixtures are on for in a closet, maybe a minute or two, it really doesn't come into play. Okay. However, these are very efficient. They're fluorescent. It's a T5 and they use very little electricity and they're bright. Now, we want this to be completely automatic. I don't want you fumbling for a switch, whether it's in the morning or at night. So what I've brought is two options. For your husband's little closet, with the single door, I have this ball switch. When the closet door is closed, the switch is in, so the light's off. Okay. When you open the door, the light oh, turns on. Okay. Now, for your closet, because you have two doors, it's a little more difficult. So I've brought this motion activated switch. So if you open either door, it's gonna turn the light on. Now, if your husband's sleeping late, you just press this button and it shuts off. All right, that all sounds great. Let's get to work. Well, I gotta find electricity first to power these lights up. Okay. Show me how to get to the attic. All right, let's go. <laughs> up in the attic, I've located this power source. I've shut the power off so I can cut it. I'll add in this junction box where I'll tie in the new feed going over to the new closet lights. I've sent this locator rod up from down below, which shows me where in the wall going this way I want to locate my switch. Now this piece of wood right here is the top plate of the wall, and you can see these nails here which tells me there's a stud going up and down. What I'm going to do is drill right in the middle of this top plate, and that's going to be my hole. Now I can install the motion switch in the master closet. <laughs> this plastic box will hold the wire from the power supply, as well as the feed to your light and the light for your husband's closet. I see it. All right, Ashley, go ahead and pull it down. Okay. Keep going. Now I can wire up the fixture, black to black, white to white, bare wire to green ground. All right, Ashley, I'll take that cover. Thank you. Okay. 
And the lamps. All right, Ashley, here in the guest room, I have a different component that I want to add to your light. Okay. It's this transformer switch here, which takes the line voltage, 120 volts, and switches it over to low voltage. Because it's low voltage, it gives me a lot of flexibility to put the switch wherever I want and with no electrical box. Sounds good. All right. Ashley, the power is back on. Go ahead and open the door. Wow, that looks great. Well, wait, there's more. I want to show you the master now. Okay, Ashley, go ahead, open the door. Okay. Wow, that's so neat.